But on that little note, let's get started. So what you're going to need is gray wool, yellow wool, red terracotta, orange wool, red wool, white wool, black wool, orange terracotta, light blue wool. And later on, if you want to grab these now or later, you will need white concrete, stripped birch wood, stripped oak log, and white terracotta. These two colors right here are for her hair. Due to the fact her hair is so light, they don't make an exact color for her hair. I'm just going to phrase it that way. So I'm just going to be using those other colors. If you guys maybe find something that looks better, go ahead and do that. I'm just going to be working with these two whenever I start doing her hair. But on that little note, let's get started. So what you want to do to start her off is place eight dark gray wool on the ground. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then do one yellow wool, one red terracotta, two orange wool, one yellow, one red, oh wait, other way around, one red terracotta, one red wool, and one red terracotta. For the next row, do one red terracotta, two white wool, um, two red terracotta, two white wool, one orange wool. I think I'm doing this right, but I'm not 100% sure. The picture is a little blurry. So that's kind of hard to tell. For the next row, do one black wool, two red terracotta, two black wool, two red terracotta, one black wool. For the next, great. I think it's five. That sounds about right. Yeah. For the next five rows, just do five solid rows of just black wool. So one, two, three, four, five. And stack that on top. And there's that. For the next row, do one orange wool. I think I did my math right. Yeah, I did. Put an orange wool on the end right here. Then come over to your other side and place an orange, not, not an orange terracotta, but a red terracotta. And then fill the rest of it in with just black wool. For the next row, go in by one with your black on each side. Place a red terracotta on your left and a yellow wool on your right. Then come in and just fill the rest in with your black wool. For the next row, do two black on either side. So two, then do a yellow wool here, starting back from where we left off, for me at least. You want to come over to this side right here and place an orange terracotta. Then in the middle, just two black. For the next row, do three black and one red terracotta and one orange wool. Then do three black. And if you want to, you did grab out your white terracotta. If not, just randomly pick a color just to mark it off for your arms. So, if you do have your white terracotta, then take that out and go out by one, two, three on both sides. I know the three may be weird, but that's actually how she has it. She has the skinny arms rather than the normal standard size arms. So, once you do those three, it's time to keep on going on the torso. So then, what you want to do is just fill the rest of this in with black wool. Now, 
get rid of, let's say, Grey Wool and Yellow. And grab out Stripped Birchwood and Stripped Oak Log. And what you want to do is you want to place, once you grab those at least, if you have not grabbed those yet, pause the video and grab those. Because I'm going to continue on from here so I do not drag on the video. So what you want to do is place one black wool, one strip birch wood, and then the rest just black wool. For the next row, do one strip oak log, then do the rest just black wool. For the next row, do one strip oak log, then one strip birch wood then the rest black wool. If you want to, which I might actually do this for later on, I would recommend due to the stump thing and it's being directional. I can't even find it. I would recommend grabbing out the stripped oak wood, not the log due to the fact if you do it, if you do it wrong and then it actually like flips it and it gets so freaking annoying because you have to you just have this and it's annoying whenever you do it in the face. So for the next row, do um one black wool, then two strip for two. Then fill the rest of it in with black wool. For the next row, do one black wool. One strip for wood, one strip of wood, then do the rest of it black wood. For the next row, do two strip for wood, and you, no, wait, never mind. And then fill the rest of it in with just black wood. For the next row, do three strip of for wood, then the rest just black wood. For the next row, do one black wood. One strip birch wood. I don't know why I keep on saying wood. One strip oak. Then do the rest of it black wood. And get rid of your red terracotta and grab out your white terracotta. For the next row, do one black wood. One strip birch. One strip oak. One white terracotta, then do the rest of it just black wool. For the next row, do three strip birch, two white terracotta, and then three black wool. And once you're done, that's what it should look like. And now it's time to move on to the arms. So, what you want to do for the arms. Because you're probably going to have to... Well, you could get rid of these two colors. This one you need to keep. Grab out your white concrete. And grab out your yellow. Get rid of your red wool. And replace it with red terracotta. And if you want to know why you have light blue wool in this. It's because, as you know, if you watch Preston... Brianna is married to Preston. So basically on this side right here, if you want to do it accurately, you can get rid of this third white terracotta here and replace that with a white concrete. Then do a bottom, I'll just show you. And do something like that. Because this is the ring showing that she's married to Preston. And basically, that's the only detail, extra detail down here, other than what's on her sleeve, because these are Preston's colors, showing that she's just white. So what you want to do is start, uh, I'm going to start on the third block right here, and then move inwards, and that's how I'm going to do this, but what you want to do is place one yellow wool, one red terracotta, one orange wool. And then, 
Oh, that thing is about 12. So you're going. Take two. <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna move up to the top to make this easier. So what you wanna do is place another three right here, kinda at the top. Then come down just with your black wool. Then do one black on either side. You're actually gonna need to get rid of your white wool and grab out your gray. And then do gray almost like this. Then that should be, because both arms are a little bit identical. That should be one, two, three, four, five, six. Down with just your black. And that's what that one arm should look like. Sorry I did not explain it well, but I did try my best. Due to the fact that I was not going to go through and do simple math again. Because that just drags on the video. So, once you're done with that arm and it looks like this, come over to the other side and do... We're going to start from this side and move over to this side. So what you want to do is you want to place one yellow, one orange, one red terracotta. Then, do... Looks like six rows of just black wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six. For the next row, do one black, one gray, one black. Then do one gray, one black, one gray. And then do a solid red black. And just do white terracotta as the rest. Once you're done, that's what the front should look like. And as you all may know, if you have seen her videos, um, she wears a little armor piece. I personally cannot do that. Due to the fact that it's, a, it's an HD, not normal pixel texture. It's basically like taking off the website and just pasting on there as an HD picture. I can't do that. So, you guys can try and replicate it, but it's not easy. So, on that little note, let's move on to the back. So, what you want to do is come back by three with your gray wool. So, then, basically create something like that. And get rid of those two and grab out those two. For the first row, not counting this row, you want to do one orange wool, two white wool, one red wool, one, nope, not one orange wool. Uh, two white wool and one yellow wool. For the next row, do one black wool, one red terracotta, one yellow wool, two black wool. And I just kind of find this funny due to the because of the fact everything on her back is one block lower than than what it is on the front. Then for the next block place one red terracotta, one orange wool, one black wool. Then you want to come up and basically, if I'm not mistaken, well, three up, I see, let's be 12. That should be about six. Actually, just, just come to this block, so that should be about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep, 6. I do not know why I just did that in Sometimes I do not use pencils. Then, what you want to do is do one orange wall. One red wool. Yep. Then fill the rest of it in with 
fun here. Yeah, nice kick. Then do one by four, one yellow, uh, four black, one yellow, one black. Did I grab it? No, I didn't, so that is not a ball. That is nice to know. Then, tell you this much. You're gonna need to get rid of these two colors and grab out your script birch and stuff. Then for the next row, do two black, one red terracotta. Of course I do that. Get rid of your yellow wool and grab out your red wool. One red wool, one stripped oak, one orange terracotta, two black wool. For the next row, do three black wool, one stripped birch, one stripped oak, three black wool. For the next row, do two black wool, one stripped birch, one stripped oak, two stripped birch. Then to finish it off, two black wool. For the next row, do one black wool, one stripped birch, one stripped oak, then two stripped birch, and three black wool. I think I'm going to start saying birch and oak from now on. Because I'm kind of tired of just saying stripped birch and stripped oak. For the next row, do two birch. One oak, two birch, then three black. For the next row, do two birch, one oak, and... Sorry, it's taking a second. Two birch, one oak, two black. For the next row, do one birch, two oak, and four birch, and one black. Yeah, that's right. Just making sure. For the next row, do one black. Four birch, one oak, two birch. For the next row, do two black, three birch, one oak, two birch. For the next row, do one black, three birch, one oak, two birch, and one black to finish that row off. For the next row, do anything yeah, right. Four birch, two oak. One birch, two black. Sorry that I'm kind of getting a little sidetracked here, but it's kind of a little complicated at the statue. Then you want to do two birch, two oak, and three birch, and one black. And yeah, that actually should be the last row. And then you just want to finish it off with just stripped birch wood. And if you want to, you could break each block. That's kind of what I'm doing. Two to the fact that it's me so much. And replace it like that. For then, you're going to move on to the arms. And just 
line them up here, get rid of these two colors, for about, uh, your yellow one. Then, you're doing it. If you're looking for where you want to start, you want to start right here, where, um, these two blocks are, where the hair sort of starts. And then you want to come out by three with your white terracotta, both sides. And I think I'm just going to start on this side. And what you want to do is you want to do with your feet. Okay, sorry about that little thing. But it should be your right side. And I'm going to do it from this side to this side. And basically, Nope, never mind. It actually works for this side, which is kind of funny. Except for this one's reverse, so this one instead is like this side. But these three blocks are in the same exact placement. So, literally, on this one, you can just copy this until you get up here. But, either way, I'm still going to say it, so... I'm going to start from this side to this side. You want to do one yellow wool, one red terracotta, one orange wool. Then go up by six with your black wool. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. Then do one black wool, one gray wool, one black wool, one gray wool, one black wool, one gray wool. Solid row of black wool and a solid row of just white terracotta. Now on this side, it's different. You want to do one red terracotta, one yellow wool, one, one orange wool. And that's literally the only difference. Then, uh, stack on top of this by six with your black wool. So it's two, three, four, five, six, then do one gray wool, one black wool, one gray wool, one black wool, one gray wool, one black wool, solid row of just black wool, and then a solid row of just white terracotta. Okay, so to continue from where I left off, uh, before the video cut, once you're done with the back, now it's time to move on to the sides. So I'm going to start on the left side. And let me see here. So basically what you want to do is on this block right here facing the back, you want to place an orange terracotta and then a red terracotta. Go up about one, two, three. Last six rows of just solid black wool. So six. And then what you want to do is you want to place one red wool here and an orange terracotta here. Then just finish off the legs with black wool. Place white terracotta here. Then do one red terracotta, one yellow wool, and if I'm not mistaken, that should be about another six rows of black wool. Let me see here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Then what you want to do after you have placed six rows of just solid black wool is do one gray one black, and one gray, one black. One, two, three.
And once you have finished one side of your arm, it should look exactly like this. And as a matter of fact, the other side is a little different. So after you're done with that side, and it looks like this, come over to the right, and basically, the only thing that is the same if you want to do it, these blocks right here, literally slip swap. So, the place of orange star cut it here, and red wool here. That's all that happens. But then right here, we're gonna go from right to left, or left to right. You wanna place one orange wool, one yellow wool, six solid rows of just black wool, and if you did place these, then you'll already know when you reached it. Then finish the rest of the legs off with just black wool. Then, if I can even place the blocks correctly, fill the bottom end with just white terracotta. Then do one yellow wool here, one orange terracotta here, six solid rows of black wool. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Place a gray wool here and a black wool here. Gray, black, solid row of just black wool, solid row of white terracotta, then fill the rest of it in with just white terracotta. Once you are done with that side, that's what it should look like. After you've done both sides, it is now time to move on to the face. So as a matter of fact, you are going to have to get rid of your yellow wool, red wool, orange wool, grab out your white wool, stripped birch wood, and your stripped oak, and move the black closer and move the light gray. If you want to, you can get rid of these two colors. These are all the colors we are going to need for the face. Like I've said, once you have finished both sides, now it's time to move on to the front. So what you want to do, as a matter of fact, is place one strip birch wood here and another one here. Then come out from there with about Okay, I should not throw it the direction of the light. Come out by just another two solid rows. And just extend this off. And that is literally the first row of the face. There's like no detail on it but this. And why I did it like this was due to the fact of the matter being her hair, her, she does not show her ears. As I can say. So for the next row, what you want to do is you want to place one birch, one white wool, one light blue, two white terracotta, one light blue, one white wool, one birch. For the next row, do two birch, one light blue, two white terracotta, one light blue, one white, one black. For the next row, so this will be the third if you guys want to know, place three birch, two white terracotta, two black wool, one birch. For the next row, do Okay, one oak, then seven birch wood. For the next row, do 
one birch, one oak, and six birch wood. And for the final two rows, just do two solid rows of just birch wood. And we will come back later and actually add on the 3D detail. Okay. So coming to the left side, because both sides are not identical, here again, you want to remove these two blocks, replace this one with stripped oak and this one with stripped oak. Then come off and do one, two, three, four. Blocks of stripped oak, not oak, birch, and then another block of just stripped oak. For the next row, do one stripped oak, then the rest, birch. For the next row, just do a solid row of just birch wood. For the next row, just do another solid row of just birch wood. Yeah, I did. Whoops. So, actually, come to this side, right here on your one, two, three, on your third row, not counting this one, and count in by one, two, break these two blocks, and replace them with stripped oak. For the next row, do three birch wood, two stripped oak, three birch wood. For the next row, this one is actually a true, just solid birch wood row. And if you guys want to, at the end, you can face these all up, so that it looks better. But for the time being, to not prolong the video, I'm not. So what you want to do for the next row is go one, two, three, four, five, then two stripped oak. For the next row. To finish it off, just a solid row of just birch wood. Now come over to the other side. Sorry, but I do not know what it is, but for some other reason my nose is just really plugged. So once you come over to the right side, if I'm not mistaken, you're going to break down this block right here, where the face actually starts off, and replace that end block of birch with an oak, and then come over by another oak, then do three birch, then one oak. And that is the first row. Then what you want to do is come back over to this block right here, then go over by one, two, three with your birch wood, then one oak, then finish it off with just birch wood. For the next row, do one oak, three birch, two oak, one birch. For the next row, do one oak, four birch, one oak, one birch. For the next row, do six birch. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then one oak. For the next row, do two oak. Well, oak. Or, I mean birch. Then one oak. Four birch, just to finish it off. I don't have to do something right. Oh. Okay, I see what he did wrong. This one's to be moved over. 
Because basically, this one goes up by three. I'm thinking of something else. Because at the end, there's a 3D extension that goes on here. And I'm completely forgetting about that. Sorry about that. For the next row, do one birch, three oak, two birch. And if you already did basically what I showed you guys, place an oak right at the end. And for the last final row, just a solid row of just birch wood. And if you want to under here, I'm pretty sure, just fill this in with your birch wood. I think you're good there. Now for the back. You want to do one oak and finish the rest off with just your birch wood. Do another solid row of just birch wood. For the next row, do two birch. One oak. One birch. One oak. One birch. For the next row, do one birch. One oak. Two birch. One oak. One birch. For the next row, do one oak, three birch, one oak, one birch. For the next row, do three birch, one oak, two birch. And for the next row, just do a solid row of just birch wood. Basically, just do two solid rows to finish it off. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here again. Sorry about that. Just to see what is at the top of her head because I keep on making this mistake of not taking a picture of the top of their head. So I will be literally just looked and you want to know something that's actually kind of funny. She has no other detail on her head. But one little block. And what you want to do is come to the front right here before we even fill it in and count in one, two, three, four, break the fifth one and replace it with a stripped oak. Then just the rest of the top of the head is just filled in with solid stripped birch wood. Then to finish her off, all we want to do is basically, this one's going to be hard to explain. But come to the front, and basically anywhere, I'll show you. So what you want to do is you want to come out from this block right here, place a birch row right here, then two here. I'll just show you what I mean. But on the front, this is what it wants to look like. You guys can see. And then she has... Coming from... Come up to the top of this block right here. Then go down by one. And just place two blocks going like that. And that is all the detail on Brianna. And as a matter of fact, after you have done that, you are completely done with your Brianna statue. Sorry it was such a long video. Um, due to the fact she has so much detail. But on that little note, thank you guys for all your support. And I will see you guys next time.